Hello, I'm Nick. Today I will share three examples of how you can use Figma Make in your design process. It will be fun. Figma Make is an AI tool that generates design using natural language prompts. The first example is using Figma Make for quick ideation. I'm going to build a landing page for a new smartwatch called Onyx Max and ask AI to use an attached image of the watch. I will attach the image and submit the prompt. While the system analyzes my input, I want to quickly mention that Figma uses Claude Sonnet 4. It's a very powerful tool from Anthropic, known for its ability to write decent code. Once AI understood my intention, it switched to the Code tab and started to write code. You can see that it starts to write up TSX. TSX stands for TypeScript. Now let's quickly scan the code output that the tool generates for us. So far, it looks like AI will put all the logic of our design in one file, breaking the layout down into sections. The code itself looks ok to me. I don't see a problem with nested divs that I previously saw when I worked with Figma site. Overall, the code is clean and readable. It takes around a minute for Figma to generate the code for entire page. To save time, I will skip the part of code generation and jump straight to the outcome. And this is what we got. It's great that Figma used our image and the product name is right. I think the layout design was inspired by visual style of the image that I provided. UI elements in this layout have basic interactivity, such as hover effect for sections. The section with technical specs looks ok, but we will make it better in a moment. There is a visible UI issue with the button in the callout section, not enough contrast for the button label. Let's fix the technical specs section. Activate point and edit mode, select the div with the callout section, write a prompt, use zigzag layout for this section. Figma analyzes my prompt and starts to write code. It feels like it rewrites the entire code of the page rather than introduce the tailored code changes. And this process takes time. Similar to the previous take, Figma spends around a minute to generate this code, so I will save your time and jump to the outcome. The section looks good in terms of the structure, but Figma reuses the same image of the watch for the zigzag layout. Good news, we can easily fix it. But before fixing the image, let's quickly fix the label for the call to action button. Activate point and edit mode again, click on a button and change the color of the label. Now select the image, click edit image, select upload from computer and upload the image from your machine. So, we've got a nice design and code for the landing page that we generated in a few minutes. Now let's do another exercise. This time I want to generate a landing page for a well-being service. But instead of providing a general prompt, I will tell AI precisely what I want to see. I will structure the prompt in this way. Start from the context and move to specific UI components. Let's copy this prompt and submit it to AI. It starts to analyze it and generate the code. A quick note about the code. Similar to the previous example, Figma puts all the code of the page in one file. While in this case I think that it's ok to put the code of all sections in one file, in real projects I tend to break the code into separate files, because it makes it easier to introduce changes in the design. So, we will fix this later in our tutorial. Again, it takes around a minute for AI to generate a design, so I will skip the code writing part. And now we can see our design. If you read the original prompt and review this design, you will see that Figma tried to make the design as close as possible to our original prompt. Layout structure, visual style and even UI components were crafted precisely as we asked it to do. The only problem that I see is that the callout section at the bottom is not visible. But this is a color contrast issue. We can fix it in a point and edit mode. Basically, we can select divs and change the color of the text or background. Let's scroll up and change the size of the buttons. Make them larger. Select a container with the text and buttons and tell the system to change the button size. 
This time AI didn't rewrite the entire code, but rather introduced a targeted change, which is good. Finally, let's ask Figma to break the code of the page into separate files, based on the structure of our layout and its sections. Now we have separate files with content for sections. An app TSX is a central hub for all these sections, connecting them together. Let's quickly check the preview. The design of the page is the same, but there is an issue. Figma lost our fix for the callout area at the bottom. This is something that you need to consider when iterating your design with AI. It can sometimes rewrite essential tweaks that you make along the way. Let me show you a final, third example of using Figma Make. And this time I will attach a design created in Figma. Here is a landing page of a barber shop in New York City. The page has a few sections, such as Hero, Book Appointment, Gallery of Works, and Contact Us form. The page is created using Auto Layout. Currently, the Hero section is missing a Call to Action button for booking appointments, and we will fix it in Figma Make. Notice the name of the project. We will use it in a moment. In Figma Make, click Attach Figma. In Search form, type the name of a project. In my case, it's a barber shop. Select Design and type a prompt. Change a hero section. Add a book appointment call to action. Submit the prompt and wait for Figma to generate the code. Before jumping to the outcome, let me share a few comments regarding the code itself. In comparison to previous examples, the code that AI generates for design attached from Figma is far from perfect. It has a lot of unnecessary imports, an overly complex structure with a lot of different functions for such a simple page. The process of code generation also takes more time, around 3 minutes, in comparison to 1 minute for previous examples. And we end up with Contact Us section on this page. No other sections are visible. Let's fix it. Write the follow-up prompt for Figma. Show the entire page, not only the Contact Us form. AI analyzes the source code and identifies the problem. It fixed the issue. And now we can see our page. Good news, we now have the book appointment call to action. And this page is scrollable. No visual defects so far. And now we can publish our page and share it with our team. That was my experience using Figma Make. Let me know what you think about this tool in the comments.